Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Baker and welcome to That's What I'm Talking About. Today I'm talking about steak and squash. Tim Batdorf of Mansfield, Ohio has asked me to make a video with steak and squash, so we're going to do that. Hi everyone! <laughs> My neighbor Teddy is here with me today. We're going to have two, but one of them got a migraine headache, so it's you and I again. <laughs> I'm going to fire up my little indoor grill here. You might notice I've got a dumbbell <laughs> sitting here, and you may be wondering why. Because this thing doesn't quite fit on the stove, and it keeps sliding around, so that's the only thing I've got heavy enough to be able to hold a dumb thing. How do you know a redneck? He <laughs> <laughs> puts a, a dumbbell on his, on his stove. <laughs> that's terrible. All right, I got a nice uh, bone-in ribeye that I'm going to cook up for this. I'm also got a pork steak that I'm going to do a little bit later on. So with our bone-in ribeye, we're just going to take some good extra virgin olive oil. Do both sides really good. Because this is going to get sloppy and I'm going to slide them all over the place. <laughs> I was going to say, it's going to be like last time yep. with the pepper sliding across the pan. <laughs> Could be a mess here. All right. Now, in addition to that, I'm going to use a rub that I made up myself this morning. It's got about four or five different spices in it. It's also got some uh, fresh rosemary out of the garden. Pack this on here good. Let's see how this works. This is a really nice looking steak. It is. <laughs> really thick. It's actually thicker than I thought it was. Alright. Get this on here. And. Start a grill. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh yeah. It's sounding good. That's a thick steak, so that's going to take a little while. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as the squash, I'm going to use zucchini squash, and I'm going to use, I forgot to bring it in. His own, of course. <laughs> We're going to use the monster zucchini. <laughs> the monster zucchini. Look out, people. And I grew in my old garden here. This is the old 16 and a half inch dude. <laughs> You're going to attempt to cut this thing up and see. Everybody has told me when it's this big, it's going to have tons of seeds in it. So, we'll see here. No. Not too many seeds to me. No, it looks great. So, looks like the little one's just bigger. <laughs> going to get a pretty good slice here. That's pretty thick. Probably too thick, huh? Yeah. What are you going to do with it? Just grill it. it on there? Yeah. Probably be alright. Uh, just... Oh, that cap went under there. Oh well. Oh, <laughs> if it burns, it burns. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to go with that. There's all, all always tin foil. Well, we're going to go with eggplant. Ah, yes. Very good, too. From my garden. Also. Had a slice of it yesterday and it's mildly sweet. Very good. It actually did come up pretty good. Mm -hmm. I was surprised. It's hard to tell when they're right. Extremely hard to tell. Alright, let's go with that. And then I'm going to put that right on. Mm -hmm. Not because I want oil on that one too. Oh, you can just dip it right here. That's good. <laughs> That's good point. Oh, yeah. Some cooks dirty up every every piece of dishes in the kitchen. That would be me. <laughs> I'm gonna put that right up. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> He's cooking. <laughs> He's showing me how sensitive that thing is. <laughs> I saw that problem. I saw him cook. <laughs> I microwave. All right. <laughs> now we're going to do this one. Probably could use a little bit more. But okay. That looks good. 
And let me get some more air going through here. Because <laughs> that is going to smoke a little bit. Let's see how our steak is doing here. Mm. Oh yeah! <laughs> That's good. what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> I'm also going to get this pork steak ready. Since there's two of us and I only have one steak. <laughs> I've got plenty of pork steak. Yeah, we need to go together and get a package because they don't have single ones. The single people. Mm. If you only had smell a camera. <laughs> <laughs> smell a vision. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have to. I hate turning this thing on now. I'm going to have to. Although I don't know why. It's just going to blow it out of here. Oh, that doesn't smell good. Mm -mm. All right. Put some rub on this thing. So we got the old smoke going pretty good here, don't we? Mm hmm. I like my steak medium rare anyway. Yep. How about you? Yep. Yep. Medium rare. Yep, I remember that actually. From the Paloma John fiasco. Fiasco. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, this is going to make history. <laughs> You're going to blow up YouTube with this one. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to think the house is on fire. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Squash is about ready. You know what? We're going with what we got. Yep. Good grief. Look at this. I had no idea it was getting that smoky. And there's no breeze outside today either. No, no. Great. Of course. And, well, like I said, that doesn't do any good. It's just blowing it out of here. Yeah. I don't have well, it. Give it a try. See if it's... Yeah, can't, can't hurt. It's at least taking it up there. I can't. All right, here we go, folks. Oh, yeah. That's oh, cool. yeah. Right. Plant? People think about grilling your vegetables now. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, it's supposed to get soft. Yeah, real soft. Center's falling out of it. Oh. Where the seeds are at. Yeah. That's okay. You'd be cutting around the seeds anyway. Oh, so, Tim, am I forgetting anything here? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Tim, here we go. Steak and squash. Straight off the grill. Hope you enjoy it. We certainly got to try a little taste here. Yeah. Oh, this video is going to be hilarious. Tell your friends, you definitely got to see this video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got to watch this fool. <laughs> Tim, I hope you enjoyed the video. And for now, I'm getting ready to eat some steak and squash, and that's what I'm talking about.